Good afternoon, Williston. Welcome to today's edition of Stop the Presses. We're here at Williston Trinity Christian High School uh, visiting with the basketball team, which starting Monday night at the well at Williston State College. Uh, opens play in the region tournament. Looking to uh, win that tournament of eight and maybe make it to state for the first time in, I believe, 13 years. Joined here with Crusaders players Austin Shell and Austin Smith. Uh, also, there's a third Austin on the team, Austin Brown. I understand he was sick today, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll settle for two Austins. And so, Austin Shell, tell us about uh, uh, what, do you, what do you think you guys' chances are of winning this tournament? Uh, we have a pretty good chance. Um, we really just got to focus up on our first two games. Now, put us in a championship game against uh, whoever wins in the other bracket. So, I'm, I'm pretty confident that we can win. <laughs> and um, last year, I guess you guys lost to Ken Mayer. Yep. Point, right? Yeah, we lost uh, first game on a buzzer beater at the end. We had them up by one with like three seconds left, and they hit a buzzer beater and beat us. So. Okay, and then Austin Smith, tell us, uh, how do you think this team's come together throughout the season? Uh, it kinda, it's been great. We work the ball sometimes, but we have our ups and downs, so it's pretty good. And an added bonus, you guys have played most of the year without your big man, Bo Skirtall, but he's uh, back, from what I understand, for running the next game. Yep, yep. Uh, he practiced with us yesterday, and it's really nice just to be able to put the ball over the rim, have him go up there and get it. So we're looking forward to playing with him again. Is there any adjustment you have to make to having him back in the lineup? Um, I don't think so. No, he's a really versatile player. I mean, we can put him out on the wing and have him guard a guard, or he can play down in the post guard post too. So. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Austin, how's that change your role and maybe the roles of other players having him back in the mix? I think it helps a lot. Like, he has great screens and just really good to have him back. Okay. And you guys uh, lost a partial in the championship game of the districts. What was that game like? Um. Oh wow, we should have we should have had him in that one. We uh, got off to a really slow start. They went up 28 to nine. We uh, tried playing a zone on them, which is wasn't a very good idea. They hit a lot of threes in that first quarter. And then uh, I think we outscored them every other quarter except that first one. So we could have got them. That's a good start to the key. Plus, you guys yeah. are playing at home. Right. Basically, yeah. I mean, not your home court, but at Williston State. So you yeah. should get a good home crowd. You always have a good home crowd here. Are you guys doing like pep rallies and stuff to try to get people over there? Uh, yeah, we did a pep rally before districts. Mm -hmm. And then we had a pretty nice showing in our championship game. Um, but yeah, it'll be great to be out on the college court being a bigger court and our team likes to run a lot so we're all in pretty pretty fair shape so that's good for us all right sounds good well thank you very much austin right. austin and best of luck next week and this thank week you. in the uh in the region tournament thank you all right Thanks. and we're joined now by uh wilson trinity christian center bo skirtall uh, back from missing most of the season with an ankle injury, he's back for uh, back for the most important time of the year, the region tournament, in the attempt to get to state. Uh, Bo, you've been out what two months or something with a broken ankle? Is that right? Uh, yeah, I've been six or seven weeks. Okay, what's that? What's that rehab been like? Uh, it's been a pretty long process, and it's been tough to just sit and watch the guys all season. But now that I get to be back, I'm just excited to get back in there. So, how long have you been able to move on? Um, they put me in the boot, I think, three weeks after the injury. So I was on crutches for three weeks, and I've been in the boot since last Tuesday. Okay, so you really have, it, it must be hard to keep your cardio in shape. When you uh, yeah, that's probably going to be the biggest issue is the cardio. Okay, so Monday night will be your first game. Exactly. Yep. What uh, What's practice been like as far as your cardio and, and, and getting up and down? Um, not bad. We haven't done a bunch of full courts. It's been mostly half. But when we went to the full court yesterday, um, most of it was just fatigue. But yeah, it's not bad. Okay. Well, what do you think you bring? To, having you back in the lineup for however many minutes you can play, what does that bring to the team? Um, height mm -hmm. and uh, probably a little more help defensively than offensively for the inside, mostly because they've been struggling like that. But Josh Sanford has stepped up in a really big way. Mm -hmm. All right, what's going to be the biggest thing for you guys uh, to, to win this tournament, get to state for the first time in 13 years? Uh, working together and uh, just not getting mad at each other and just communication. Okay, sounds good. Well, Monday night out at uh, Williston State College, the well, get out there, watch the uh, Trinity Christian Crusaders take on Powers Lake in the first round game. That'll be Monday night. The championship game is Thursday night. Uh, signing off, I'm Williston the Herald, managing editor Matt Hickman. You stay classy, Williston.